Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be a quick couple-minute video reacting to the Mark Shifley hit on Jacob Evans with about 50-some seconds left in the game between the Winnipeg Jets and the Montreal Canadiens yesterday. According to the rule book, technically a charge is just taking two strides um, with the intent to injure, where when you look at the side angle of Shifley that somebody put online, coming all the way up the ice that they did not show that angle on the broadcast, you can see that as soon as Evans, it went up obviously around the boards, Jacob Evans was the only one down the ice at that point coming around the boards. Yes, um, he did have his head down, but that's not the point here. The point here is Mark Shifley has some of the best hockey sense in all of hockey. And yesterday, he looked like an imbecile, clueless Tom Wilson on the ice, making that hit. Where this guy has some of the best senses in the game, he recognizes the game really well, and he sees the game really well. Well, right there, he must have been blind earlier in the game, because he clearly, if you thought you would have got back to hit him before he hit that puck in the net, you're stupid. You were either drunk on the ice or stupid because there's no chance in hell Mark Shifley was making it back there to hit him <clears throat> before that puck went in the net. Like Marty Biron said, that is a dirty hit. He said it. Uh, Greg Budden, I don't think you should have the IIHF rules in the NHL. That's a little bit too much. And Craig Budden just talks the talk. He's the Skip Bayless of Canada, um, other than when it comes to the draft. But... You really need to be able to hone this stuff in because now you're even having guys that aren't like that that are starting to have these just react to the game hits where if you look at that side angle, yeah, he definitely did charge down the ice. Did he slow down a bit before the hit? Maybe, but then if you also look at the one angle, somebody showed his skates. It actually looks like by about this much, at least one of them, if not both of them, actually did leave the ice, which you're not allowed to do on a hit either. You have to hit somebody. You can't jump into somebody. And <clears throat> you look at that one angle somebody showed online too, from underneath, like from a little bit like kind of ice level on the skates, it looks like that his skates even uplifted a little bit. And that's a gigantic problem in the rule book as well. Now, my, my, or Mark Shifley, excuse me, does not have a history of this. So it's going to be interesting to see what the league does. Because Mark Shifley is considered one of the nicest, one of the cleanest uh, guys in the game, as well as being one of the best players and most fun guys to watch in the game. So it's very weird. It was a very dumbfounding thing. You're like, whoa, what the hell just happened when watching the game? Was that actually Shifley that did that? Because you don't expect it in a million years. Evans did have his head down. Don't get me wrong. Obviously, Jacob Evans, you're taught when you come around the net, you can't just be looking at the puck like this. You got, I'm a lefty, so I'm not doing it how he does. But you, you can't just be looking at the puck like this. You have to actually be able to kind of tuck it around while you're looking up so you know somebody coming in. But also, if you're Mark Shifley, you saw him dead looking at him. He had to know his head was down. So that's a hockey sense play with the hitter as well. If you see a guy with his head down, you're taught... That's automatically going to be a penalty if you take him out in today's game pretty much because he has his head down, and they tend to call that 9 out of 10 in today's game. If you take someone out with the head down, it's usually either a charge or even if you didn't elbow him in the head, they're still calling an elbowing just because of the safety precautions nowadays compared to back in the past, which I think is the right way to do it. So if you're more excitedly, as I wrap up this video, it's just going to be a short video reacting to it, you got to know the way the league is now. You got to know how we're changing to trying to protect guys, trying to protect concussions, trying to not have as many concussions in the league. So when a guy has their head down, it's not like it was in the 1980s, not even like it was in 2005. You got to know that you cannot make that hit. And particularly, it's almost an unwritten rule in hockey nowadays. I don't love unwritten rules, but it really is, and this is actually a good one. If a guy's clearly going to tuck it into the empty net, and you sure as hell, yes, it looks closer on that one uh, video, Pirlo Wisdom of, of uh, SteelFlyers.com highlighted that on his account nicely, but I don't agree with his overall opinion. I agree with Payton's from our Steel Flyers website that that was a dirty and not a nice hit by Shifley. 
But in my opinion, it's also this dude, the reason I think he should get suspended more than two games and get, like, even though it's a first offense three to four, is what goes against Mark Seife is he's known as one of the smartest players in the game. One of the guys with the best senses in the game. And there he showed that he's just dumbfoundingly stupid. And that's not common for him. So I think that should hurt him, actually, that he's known for being as smart and then still making that play. That's why he should get more game. If you're, because you're not somebody that's just Mr. Tough Nose, I score goals, but I'm more of an Anton Russell guy that's really going to pump up my team, but have a couple years where I score 15-ish more goals. That's not what Mark Shifley is. Mark Shifley is a guy that is a menace. He is a guy that is a star. He's a guy that's one of the elite players, probably top 25, 30 in this freaking league. And he did not show it there. He showed just a bunch of tomfoolery, a bunch of shenanigans, and a bunch of stupidity. And that's all it was. And he deserves to be suspended for this hands down. If he's not suspended for this, the NHL, mark my words, will have more than 100 penalty minutes by far, probably, honestly, in the rest of the damn series, but definitely in the next game, they will have more than 100 penalty minutes. But if they don't suspend them, they might have more than 100 penalty minutes in each freaking game because this is going to turn into the Broad Street Bully days of the Philadelphia Flyers from the 70s. If you do not suspend Shifley, what Joel Edmondson said, I understand what Corey Perry said, but that's Corey Perry. Good for him. I like Corey Perry, but he took it more subtly. What Joel Edmondson said, if they listen to him who following um, <clears throat> Canadian broadcasters for the Montreal Canadiens, not overall Canada, they say how much of a leader Edmondson's become coming in in his first year wearing the A. People are going to listen to him, too. So well, whoever decides to listen to him, they're going to say, oh, well, he said we're going to make his life living hell if he's not. And they're going to do it. They're going to do exactly what happened to Tom Wilson. And it's just going to be pointless to not suspend him anyway because you're probably going to have what happened to Tom Wilson. And because of a play, you're probably just going to get Shifley thrown out of the game anyway in order to protect him like the NHL ended up doing with Wilson. So this was a stupid play. It's going to be even dumber by the NHL if they make the same mistake twice. Yes, he doesn't have a history. But unless if you want to have the rest of this playoff series turn into boxing and not hockey, you are going to want to suspend Mark Shifley for at least two games, but I would honestly say probably three and maybe even four, which is not common for a first offense, but this was a nonsensical play. There's no chance he could have thought he was going to catch him before he put the puck in the net, and if he did, he's blinder than a bat. So that's the issue there. This has been a quick video reacting to the Mark Shifley hit in about an eight-minute video. On Sports Fanatic News, I'm Joe Board. Please like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe at Steel Flyer. Flyer's nitty-gritty. Pirlo wisdom. Payton on the radio. Off the wall hockey. And all the other up slapshot sweethearts. And all the other great people on the Steel Flyers website. Click the link section and you'll find all the people you can follow there. Stay safe, everybody. And also enjoy all the rest of the great playoff action. That was a hell of a game that just ended in chaos for no reason whatsoever. Peace out, everybody.